Welcome back to the Gusky. I am Gray, and today we're gonna do some more of the bike path thing. Um, since I loaded it up like right on the bike path, it kind of just took off, and and I ran into a fight. So that's where we're gonna pick this shit up off from. And it's a double battle. You know how I like double battles and all that good shit. So we'll go ahead and get on into it. Um, there's not really much to talk about in terms of news with the exception of one thing and that one thing is kind of unfortunate and I'll tell you why. Um, when I went and ordered my um, capture card, yeah, um, it's not going to be here in time. And that sucks. That really, really sucks. I Well, I don't think it's going to be here on time. Um, when I ordered it, it turns out they were, you know, had a shit ton of back orders and whatnot. So, not really am I on the wait list, but I mean, they're just way behind getting all their shit out the door. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at um, there. Because I was like, I ordered that shit, and then they're like, hey, we'll send you the tracking info and shit. And then it was like a couple weeks, and I never got it. And I was like, what the hell, man? So I went and, and, and talked to them, and yeah. Uh, yeah, they're they're super backlogged right now. And had I known that, I would have just ordered, you know, a couple weeks earlier than I did. But I didn't know that, so yeah. So like I said, I'll, uh, it'll probably be a little late. Um, I'm considering it. It should at least be in the mail by the time. By the time the game is released, and obviously I'm buying it that what fucking Tuesday um it's kind of funny cause like the World of Warcraft expansion comes out like the week before it comes out next week as of right now it comes out like next Thursday it's fucking weird they have a stupid day as they're releasing it but anyway I'm kind of playing that right now with the girlfriend and stuff and I'm just gonna fucking ditch that I'm gonna tell you right now when that game when that Pokemon game comes out I'm ditching that shit man and I'm just gonna sit here and I'm likely just gonna just just gonna just just gonna just 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 I'm just gonna sit here and probably just play this and record play this play Omega Ruby and record like nonstop. Um, that's the hope anyway. Um, good thing is too is you know after Thanksgiving and all that stuff we only have like a week and a half really of school left, so um. I'll just have to juggle that for a little while, and then after that, then I'm just gonna say fuck it, and then we're like I said, I mean I got like a month off of school, so um, there's gonna be a shit ton of recording and a shit ton of playing Omega Ruby, and quite honestly, I may, I may actually just go and finish it and record it all in that time frame. Whoa, let's go this way. Um, let's fight this guy, and the reason being for that is. Um, Quite honestly, I am excited to play it, and and as I said before, I'm not super up on the news on our, all the shit that's going into it. You know, every single little whatever it is, you know, every single little mega and whatnot, mega tentacle. You know what that would look like? A shit ton of tentacles, shit ton of fucking hentai tentacles, probably. Jesus, that'd be a scary thing. I hope they never do that. Of course, now that I say that, that's probably in Omega Ruby. But anyway, as I was saying, um. I I I think I'll just go do that because I'm excited to play the game and I don't haven't like I said haven't kept up on all the news. I kind of want some of it to be a surprise and stuff like that. So we will. Oh no. Yeah, whatever. So um, that's that's gonna be a thing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into that and just go nuts on it. I'm sure. Um, at least like I said I want to go fucking crazy on it and just play it because i'm excited about it i don't know why i'm so excited about it I, I just i think the reason being is because like the like gen 6 came out with so many new things and you know with the the technology and the leap in in hardware really i mean the hardware got a lot better when we switched over to to the 3ds and and um and i think that the you know after seeing what happened in gen 6 what they did do in gen 6 you know, it's it's an interesting and exciting to see what they can continue putting into the game. Um, at least from my perspective. Uh, you know, it's it's just I don't know. Like I said, I'm just excited to see what they can do because they they got they're at a point now where they can go really far and do a lot of really cool things. You know, and and all that good shit. 
you know, and I mean, like, like with Pokemon and me and stuff like that, I mean, you know, shit that allows us to do the, um, you know, allows us to see all, everything and, you know, all the 3D graphics and, and all the good stuff now. I mean, not that this was ever bad, but I mean, this is always one. Oh, damn you. you burned Hellas, you bastard. How do you burn a water ice type? Think about that. How does that, how does it work? You burned it, it got really warm, but now it's got ice and water, so that's okay. But anyhow, um, that's, that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at. There we go. I have pushed the button, because I need to, I need to go make Hellas okay. But, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm just, uh, excited about it. Because that's just, it's a new game. I mean, I was I was really excited for Gen Six when it came out. Not so much for like Gen Five and like White Two and Black Two. Like I literally bought those, and then they sat on my shelf. I don't know what I'm doing here. Burn heal. That'll fucking work, right? Those things like literally sat on my shelf for a year before I got around to playing them. I don't know why. I was just so unenthused about that generation. And I kind of feel bad now because I mean the generation after I played it wasn't so bad. I mean I don't like I didn't like a lot of the new Gen Five Pokemon, but you know the game itself was was pretty badass and by the way the the super training thing is back in case you didn't know that i i did see that the god that was a while ago now i just i just forgot about it the super training thing is back which is awesome which is absolutely awesome i i like that in gen 6 <laughs> the, the new i don't know if the xp share specifically is the same but they still have super training oops they still have super training so is that what it's called? Super training? The stupid thing? The little mini games with, with the balls and stuff? And all that good shit? I dominated those things, man. Those things were the, my little bitch. I loved it. But anyhow, um, enough about all that shit. And I guess, I guess that really was the only real update that there was. Um, so I guess, I guess we'll focus back on this now. So, um, I think this episode I'll be able to finish off all of bike path i think um i think uh and then I, i'm i'm not sure if there's storyline stuff in in town but i uh, i think i i think we can go in there and then just go to the gym and then move on i don't think there's much for storyline stuff anymore i think you kind of reached that point in the game where you're just on your own and just doing your shit which i kind of prefer honestly I, I just that's just me i'm just kind of like i like doing my own thing oh god i mean i don't know that's just that's just me i mean i like though i think they are bringing some some of the um i think they're bringing like the battle tower or something like that back in the new game sorry off topic i know but um that we might do. We might do something with it. I don't know. I haven't done anything like that before. Let's go. I'm going to go with Mofo. I'm just going to switch into him and give him a good old sky uppercut and be done with it. Go ahead. Take a nap. I don't care. Take a nap. Just take a nap and then hold this for me. Bitch. But anyhow, um... Uh, what was I saying? I was going to say something. I had something important to say. Something relevant. Ah, oh, about, about, uh, not, not, oh, Meryl. I keep on battling because we got the Thunder Punch. Um, I'm pretty, pretty excited with the new, with, with no, no real story. Like I said, I think, I don't think we have much. I know we do, we do something with Lugia or Ho-Oh, right? Where we have to go back and fight the other one, which in this case will be Ho -Oh at level 70. But I'm not sure, is that just before the Elite Four or or what? I'm not not entirely sure. Um I know we gotta go do that at some point. But I mean and, and if we do we're just gonna fucking you know just kill him. I mean, that's, I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not that interested in, 
in in catching him all that much. I mean, I mean that's what we did to Lugia, and like I said, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Ooh, although I just realized, although when we play Omega Ruby, oh yeah, that's a good point. When we play Omega Ruby, we're not gonna be able to do it. We're gonna have to go catch him. So I guess we'll have to kind of change up the order when we do that in the next game. So, oh well. Uh, that'll make things a little more difficult, and I may, I may just make like catch episodes. And like I said, I'll be I'll be recording my first playthrough on that game and and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I mean I'll probably like I said just up and stop and 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 make a recording and just each and every little little legendary. Although I don't know how the story is gonna go, so I may have to may have to edit some shit what I mean by that is I may end up just leaving things as like one long recording and then just messing with them later it's probably what will end up happening um I know I missed that guy down there on the bottom but we're gonna go we're gonna go get to that we're gonna go and get him here in a minute so don't worry it's all right we're running on his in headbutts this is good training for for wreckage though I mean it's it's good stuff it's good stuff he'll be fine he will be fine and you know i wonder i, I haven't checked i wonder but i wonder I, I get this feeling that with omega ruby i don't know why but i get this feeling that we're gonna get another set of starters i just get a feeling just a feeling like i said i haven't checked i haven't played the demo or anything like that because once again i mean i'm trying to save it I'm trying to save it for when we do the epi, so it's all all new to me. I mean, I don't, I don't want to go in there with a shit ton of spoilers. Which, by the way, I'm not one of those people who gets all upset over spoilers. I think I know. I think I think I think I know. I'm pretty sure I've said that shit before. But I mean, I'm just trying for the sake of you know having a real and actual reaction. I'm not gonna sit here. Oh fuck! I meant to change. God damn it! I'm not gonna sit here and like fake being surprised or something like that. I'm not that kind of a douche. I'm a douche, but not that kind of a douche. So, I mean, like I said, you know, if if we run into a fucking meal in the wild or something, I will likely shit my pants. And that will be recorded for everyone to 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 witness. And yeah, you know, it's just the way it is. You're gonna have to enjoy it. I'm sorry. But you're gonna have to enjoy me shitting my pants. That's just that's just the way it is. Cause me is awesome. Although I don't think that's gonna happen, but I'm just saying shit. Why does Paley still have the XP share? I mean, I need to take that off of him. <laughs> we need to do some administrative work here. Let's 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 do some things here. Oh, wait, we want to go to Pokemon and take the XP share. The XP share item. Take. Pele item give I do hope the XP share is the same way as the, as the last one I know it's kind of, it's it's weird because it's kind of cheating in all honesty like I mean literally like if, if you think about it like the XP share the way it is now is kind of kind of cheating it's kind of cheap however like I said I mean I, I like the idea of having to go through the game and at least be somewhere in the like the 70s or 80s. I, I like that. That way, like I said, you can experience and enjoy those late blooming Pokemon. You know, like Braviary and shit like that. Makes the game a little bit more, a little bit more fun to me. Cause oh, all right, yeah, all right, we're pretty much done with this place. Then I think we gotta go fight this guy, and then I think we're done. There may be some more down south a little bit more, but pretty sure we're close to close to having all of them done here but anyhow you know so I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping the xp share is the same way in, in that fact and i hope we get it early again for obvious reasons i mean it's it just makes training and shit like that a lot easier then i can literally just sit here and play the game normally and just record it all day and you know i wouldn't have to take any time out for leveling or anything like that you know, I do need to buy a guide for it just so I know what level like the Elite Four is. That's really the only reason why I want one, so that I get to the point. Cause like um, I I assume, like I said, I I would assume that there'd be some point where you'd have to do a little bit of training 
and engine oh, one more and in gen 6 that training was was right at the elite four you needed to be about what 80 or 85 something like that and you ended the game at like 78 you, you got it to the elite four at 78 and you needed to be about 75 or 75 blah, 85 in my honest opinion because i think that i think the champion girl had that in guard of war that was 80 85 something like that i think it was a monster i hated that fucking thing god i think it pissed me off so much I just do not like, I don't like Gardevoir. And we're going to see a bunch of them in this game again, aren't we? Ugh. That's such a fan favorite. I don't know why. Why? Why do people like that thing? It's so, it's more than awkward. It's like beyond awkward looking. It's just like, it's just straight up weird. And, and it's not like a cute weird or it's like, not like a cool weird. It's just this, it's, uh, and people love that fucking thing. My God, I don't know why. I really don't like Gardevoir. I will never use one. Oh, nice, you're poisoned too. Wonderful. Right? I mean, what are the odds? And now he's going to miss. No, he actually hits with the horn attack. I'm very much surprised. Very much surprised. But he's going to fucking die here. Charmeleon. Ooh, he's got a Charmeleon. A Charmeleon. Why would you have, like, a level 50 Charmeleon? Like, legit. Why would you have a level 50 Charmeleon? I mean, anybody? I mean, what's, what's the point in that? What move does it learn at level 50-something that... Or 41, in this case, that makes it so much better than a Charizard without that move? And I'm not being a jerk. I'm serious. Like, what move does it learn? I don't know what move it could possibly learn. Cause it, cause Charmander, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charmander, Charizard is a special attacking Pokemon. So he's, you know, shit like Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt. Well, yeah, shit like Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm looking for a hyper potion. Shit like Thunderbolt. Um. Should have used a full heal, huh? Shit like Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, stuff like that, or what she gonna want on him? You know, I mean, it's I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't know, and I want to say Flamethrower happens in the 30s or something like that. Or he should learn it in the normal course of his development. I guess is a good way to say it. I don't know. Bird guys, okay bird guys oops i really did not want my uh my toros to die there so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna save and we're gonna heal and then we're gonna quit because that's what we do well i'm not gonna quit i'm gonna continue recording but but so in this gym we are gonna need oh it's poison too isn't it oh I have a feeling like the next episode is going to take us a long time. I think we're going to do a lot of running back and forth and, and healing. I'm just saying. Because we're going to have to lean on Tauros with the Zen Headbutt. Because that's the only move that we have that's going to be super effective against them. Um, obviously, if there's Vile Plumes, shit like that in there, we've got, we've got you know, enough fire coverage to, to handle. But anyway... Um, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.